Hey Zips fans, Chad Welker with the Zips Digital Network. Glad to be joined by second year women's basketball head coach Melissa Jackson. And coach, first of all, I have to ask, how are you doing? How is the family? And probably the most important question that I've got following you on Twitter was who won the yeah. inaugural Jackson Family Olympics? Well, <laughs> we're doing well. Um, we're we're managing, I guess you could say, and um, you know, staying home and staying, staying safe, and um, you know, everybody in our family is healthy, and and we're really fortunate for that. And um, you know, I, to answer your question, the uh, Jackson Family Olympics um, was definitely won by my husband. He uh, he used all measures uh, to win win the Olympics, so um, it was fun and. Uh, who knew, you know, when we started that a couple of weeks ago, um, that we're going to have to be rolling out a, a Summer Olympics here uh, coming out shortly. Coach, want to hop uh, right into it with uh, women's basketball and the status of your program. Obviously, the loss um, at home against Toledo in the first round of the MAC tournament tournament uh, wasn't exactly what you were looking for, um, but. Tell us where you are now that you've had some time to really, uh, you know, reflect on uh, this past 2019-2020 season. Obviously, um, you know, it wasn't the outcome I think anybody, you know, wanted, you know, within our program and, and outside as well. And, um, you know, so you, you have some time to reflect on it. And, um, you know, when you look back on it, um, and I, I had a a Zoom call um, a couple of weeks ago with our seniors, and and we were talking about that. And um, obviously, you want to win, and and you wanted to get to Cleveland. But um, in hindsight, you know, with everything that that was going on, and how um, abruptly, you know, so many seasons had ended, um, I was I'm really fortunate to to actually get that closure, you know, with my team and have that um, you know emotional locker room experience, which we had, and um, you know, so so I'll remember that. I think they'll remember that. Um, even though it wasn't the outcome that, that we all wanted. Um, but it, it's been good. It's been um, some good time to reflect, you know, on our season um, and look forward, you know, to, to what's ahead. But I've uh, been watching a lot of film, you know, um, outside of, you know, doing some homeschooling and, and all that. And I um, mean, just looking at different ways that we can get better as a program, and as a staff, um, both individually, you know, with some of our players and then collectively as a whole. What would you say the state of your program is now? I know this past year uh, the line was elevate. Uh, yeah. Is your program at that, uh, you know, it's not necessarily at that peak, but did you elevate the Zips women's basketball program in your, your eyes this year? You know, when you look at our record, you know, um, maybe our record isn't what we had anticipated or, or absolutely wanted it, but um, I think this group um, absolutely elevated our program, um, you know, and, and that was, you know, academically in the classroom that was, you know, off the court um, in community service and all the hours that we put into um, and then just building on our culture. You know, I think in my first year, we, we took some really good steps to that. I think this past year um, we went above and beyond um, and I feel really good about where our culture of our program is. So um, a credit to our, our five seniors um, for really leading the charge in that. Um, you know, I think we're, we're at a good place uh, of where we want to build um, Akron women's basketball. Um, I'm excited, you know, for what's ahead. Um, and I think we got um, a ways to go, but um, I think we're all moving in the right direction. I still want to kind of talk a little bit about your five seniors, Caitlin Berry, Haley Rhino, um, Shawnee Edmonds, Lissa Clay, and uh, Shayna Harmon. Uh, being that you don't get to see them on a regular basis and how you are keeping touch with them, what are some of the future plans that they have going forward uh, in, in whether it be their athletic careers or their uh, – or their careers, how schooling going for the five seniors? Are they all going to graduate in May? It's been, um, you know, just trying to regularly check in with them um, occasionally and, and just see how they're doing. All of them are are healthy and, and uh, staying safe. And um, it was funny on their senior night. You know, I talked about um, you know not them not getting senioritis and being able to 
uh, finish out. Um, and, and if they do that, you know, they'll all, you know, graduate above a 3.0. So I know they're working hard in the classroom. They're, the five of them are just phenomenal student athletes and, and are going to be successful in, in everything that they do going forward. So um, I know a few of them have um, aspirations to play professionally. So um, Haley, um, Shawnee, and, and Alyssa are working towards that. Um, Shana, you know, a lot of people don't know, but Shana tore ACL, um, you know, in our Ohio game. So, um, you know, she re recovered and actually got back on the floor for her senior night and then a little bit in the Toledo game. But she's been recovering and she's been home and doing her rehab and trying to get her into coaching, you know, because I think she'll be a phenomenal coach. And then um, Caitlin, you know, Chad, you had the, the luxury of having her for an internship last summer. Um, she's going to be phenomenal, you know, in marketing and um, just doing, trying, I'm sure she's trying to get a job. So if anybody's out there looking for, for somebody in sports marketing, um, she, she'd be a great asset to, to any marketing firm. Now we kind of get to dive into uh, a little bit more of some athletes that will be coming back uh, next year for the 2020-2021 season. Um, what are some of the things that your student athletes have been doing at home to whether it be stay in shape or uh, get better conditioning? What are some of the, what are some of the sophomores and uh, I know your lone senior next year, J J.D. Dawson. What are, what have they been up to when you've uh, been able to update yourself with them? They're all just trying to maintain, you know, their level of fitness. And um, I think our strength and conditioning department has done a great job of um, being connected with them and sending them, you know, virtual workouts and um, videos and all that. And obviously we can't be present on, on those calls or any of that virtual stuff, but um, they've been really creative with that. So, um, you know, a shout out to, to our strength coach, you know, Tolan for doing all that. And um, they, they've had fun with it too. We've, we've done some push up challenges. We've done some squat challenges, you know, what you're going to see. So I'm um, just trying to have fun with it, you know, but also trying to maintain our fitness. And um, whenever we're able to get back together, um, you know, then we'll uh, resume, you know, some normalcy. Not only when, uh, uh, your season kind of comes to an end, but when you, uh, you and your assistant coaches get to go to the women's uh, basketball final four, uh, typically a big coaches convention for you guys, um, obviously missing out with that this year. What is the national, uh, what, what's going on kind of nationally with coaches staying in touch with each other, uh, different trends that they're learning to how to coach, are you guys together? Um, you know, kind of doing your own thing. What, where, where do uh, coaches stand? Obviously, with something that that's never happened in our lifetime, lifetimes. You know, the crazy thing is we're we're all going through this together. And um, like you said, you know, not not being able to go to the the final four, um, you know, is a disappointing time for all of us. You know, just because there's just so much value out of that. And um, but I think the best thing um, that our organization, I know, um, the men's basketball coaches have done this as well. Is there's just been so much virtual online webinars and seminars. And so I know my, my coaching staff has been using that um, just to get better, you know, professionally. Uh, I'm jealous of them because um, a lot of them don't have the homeschooling responsibilities that I have. So um, I've been trying to, you know, at nighttime, you know, uh, pop on some of those webinars and seminars, you know, um, but they've been giving me some feedback on that stuff and, and that's been great. So um, it's just been great. I think a lot like our coaching community has just been really willing to share. Um, and you're see, seeing like Muffin McGraw and Kim Mulkey, Don Staley, Gino, um, getting on these calls and just um, dropping nuggets on us. And it's just, it's been great for, for our coaching community. I wanna also talk a little bit about, um, we had the opportunity and privilege this past year with a couple of our ESPN broadcasts to have the likes of uh, 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 I'm Coach Gottlieb from the Cavs, a um, couple alumni with Rachel Tecca and uh, Miss Kessel. Um, can you just share the uh, importance to kind of keep? Well, what are the, well, first of all, what's the relationship with you and Coach Gottlieb yeah. uh, for fans that kind of don't know? Um, and then when we get to talk about the alumni and be, having them come back and be involved with those broadcasts, um, how important is that to your program? And, uh, how do you, how are you keeping in touch with some of your alumni as well? Coach Lindsay Gottlieb, you know, you mentioned um, 
you know, pretty cool that she, she got to come down to our, our Miami, Miami of Ohio game um, at home this past year and uh, see both me and uh, um, Deanna Hendricks, who's the head coach at Miami, who, um, who she both coached both of us at, at the University of Richmond. So um, I know that was a cool experience for her. And, um, you know, she's just been a, a great mentor for me and um, somebody that I can reach out to at, at any moment. And um, it's crazy because in the off season here, I thought I was going to get a chance to go over to the east side and, and uh, you know, do a play date with her son and, um, you know, just spend some more time with her. But unfortunately, we've been, been con confined to our homes. And um, so we've been texting every now and then and just checking in on each other. And uh, but just what a cool mentor. Um, and I know she's, um, you know, excited for, for NBA season to get back up and running whenever that may be. And, um, and then our alumni, you know, which, which you touched on, you know, they're so important to our program. And we've had um, some unbelievable alums, you know, most recently, you know, with Cinna King and Rachel Tecca being player of the years and Casey Castle and all the assists that, that she's dished out. So um, I know Casey's got a wedding coming up here um, that I got an invitation to. So um, I know she's probably planning that and trying to figure out you know, how that's going to happen. Um, but again, they've been just um, integral parts of, of our program and, and they're always welcome, you know, to come back and um, I thought we had a great alumni day this past year and, and we'll continue to grow that um, and hope to have a lot of them, you know, next year. One of the other uh, real important days that the University of Akron women's basketball program uh, has been having uh, over the last couple of years is the uh, uh, Akron for NACON game. This year, you guys were able to uh, hit your goal of raising $15,000. Um, again, kind of touching uh, we talked over the course of the season the relationship that you've had with them but just share uh the importance of you know the cancer research and why that foundation really sticks with you and uh how next year we can continue to grow uh in, in helping that foundation um it's a, just a, a great game for us you know to honor uh the nacon foundation who we partnered with and um, you know, we are so happy to reach our goal of over 15,000 this year. And a lot of people um, work tirelessly, you know, to that goal. And um, starting with our associate head coach, Colleen Day, um, who really just does a lot of work with that. Um, one of our, our mentors and um, infamous Zips fans, Shelly Harris, did a phenomenal job with our, um, you know, silent auction gifts. And um, you know, it just was, it was a great event. I think the icing on the cake was us, you know, beating Ohio, who's one of the best programs, you know, in the Mac uh, on our home floor and what a great game that was. So um, just a phenomenal day to honor, you know, all the cancer survivors and um, continuing to grow that and, and, and we will do that next year. But um, we're just very, very thankful, you know, for everybody that, that put a lot of work in, into that event. Also with the co uh, community service, you brought it up earlier, um, what were some of the organizations and what were some of the uh, service projects that you and your team were able to do this year? Uh, I know you guys put in a lot of hours, but uh, especially during this time of the unknown and everybody being at home, uh, kind of give us an idea of where you guys were helping and uh, look forward to helping in the future. Yeah, we try to um, give back a lot to the Akron community, um, just like they they give back to us, you know, coming out and supporting us. And so um, usually in the summer, we always try to, um, you know, do some type of activity with Habitat for Humanity. So our girls have done that in the past. They did that pa this past summer, um, built a house. Um, it was probably a much harder workout um, than they, they usually had. Uh, for most community services. So, um, so that was a great event. Um, we volunteered at the a Akron Food Bank. Um, and I know we, we might be doing that um, in the future here, you know, because th they need so much help, um, you know, with the coronavirus going on. And um, we've also uh, most recently probably um, has spent a lot of time over at the I Promise School and have done, you know, different events with them and, um, you know, uh, was really awesome, you know, that they were uh, able to be a part of our education day this past year. Um, and so we went back over there and did a pep rally, you know, for their, for their students as well. So um, anytime we can get out um, to the, the Akron community, uh, we also love to do, you know, the read to me day and, and get into the elementary schools and, um, you know, show face uh, with, with our athletes as well. All right, coach, now we get to kind of talk about more of the future. Um, you just signed 
uh, your fourth student athlete to be a part of the 2021 campaign in Alexa Stewart from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Uh, first of all, let's just individually talk about Alexis and what she's going to bring uh, to the Zips next year. Yeah, I'm like, so excited to coach her. Um, can't wait to get her on campus. And, um, you know, she's somebody that, that we targeted, um, you know, in the fall here. And again, um, Colleen Day, my, my recruiting coordinator, so she had co head coach, had, had seen her at, at an event. And um, I have a lot of trust in my staff and, and their evaluation. So, um, and she was spot on. And, um, and then I had the opportunity to watch her play. And um, it was a no brainer for us. So Alexis is just, um, just has an unbelievable basketball IQ, um, can play both sides of, of the ball. Um, she, you know, she'll play a combo guard for us. So she, we'll use her a little bit at the point guard. We'll use her at the off guard. Uh, but she's got great size being 5'10 and uh, has a, a great ability to shoot the three, but also um, ability to get to the basket. And um, I think what our staff loves most about her is um, her willingness to sacrifice. And um, I've been at a game where she's actually taken like eight charges um, in one game. So, um, so I think our, our Zips fans will be excited about that, and um, she'll be a great addition, you know, to a very strong class. Speaking of the class that you have, Elena Carter from Mason, Ohio, Kate Gary from Loveland, Ohio, and Sive Edwards Murphy from County Clare, Ireland. Uh, can you touch base a little bit about uh, what they're going to bring to the table, um, along with, you know, the likes of Emma Teca and Lane Farrell and the, the, the ladies that uh, had their red shirt year and the, the rest of the clan with Colleen and Molly Neitzel and Gabby Brown Mitchell and of course Kendall Miller, another local product. Yeah, and uh, you know, you got Gabby Brown Mitchell in there, Lanasia Brewer. So, um, you know, as I've been reflecting these last couple of weeks, I'm just really excited um, for for some, um, you know, new faces that are going to have a huge opportunity, you know, within our program. And um, I think the biggest thing you'll see, you know, with, with these younger kids is just the versatility um, and their ability to play multiple positions, their ability to do different things. And, um, you know, so that starts, you know, with, with uh, a lot of the, the names that you mentioned, but, um, you know, in particular, that class, you know, Alana Carter from Mason, uh, just, um, oozes versatility. Um, she's just a kid that can really get to the basket. She's a lefty. She can shoot the three. Um, another kid that loves to take charges, um, high IQ. Um, just a, it will be a great addition, you know, that within our offense. And then uh, Kate Gary, another Cincinnati product. So uh, luckily, I, uh, Brianna Sanders on my staff, she's got a lot of great ties in the Cincinnati area. So uh, we were able to get, you know, two Cincinnati products uh, in this class, which we're, we haven't had uh, much success in Cincinnati, but we're, we're excited to get that going. And uh, like I said, Kate Gary from Loveland High School, um, just a phenomenal three-point shooter, um, somebody that can really, really stretch the defense with deep range and um, another lefty. And so uh, we're going to have a, a couple lefties on our team um, going forward. But um, And then the last one, you know, Sive uh, from Ireland uh, just brings some – like true size, you know, to, to our five position, you know, six, two, six, three. Um, and that's legit, you know, we're not stretching her, you know, um, that is her legit size. And, um, you know, she, she's got some versatility as well, can step out and shoot the three, but um, she'll just give us some added depth, you know, at our five spot, uh, which will allow some other players, you know, to, to maybe, you know, play different positions. Coach, appreciate the time. Um, I know one of your assistants, I got to give a shout out with, to, to Coach Bree uh, and her TikTok madness. Yeah. Um, have you enjoyed watching what not only your coaches, but uh, your student athletes have been doing on social media, um, you know, really representing Akron well? Yeah, they're talented, right? I mean, um, I, I knew my team could dance, uh, and so they, they've definitely shown that, you know, with the recent TikToks. Um, Coach Bree, she's got style, and, um, you know, so uh, I'm just, like, I keep keep holding out that, that, that they haven't, um, you know, been calling on me for any TikToks just yet, so I, but I know that's coming, so uh, you may see a Jackson family TikTok um, on social media coming up. Coach, appreciate the time. Thanks for uh, taking a little bit out of your day to spend talking with me and great updates on your program. Obviously, we can't wait to see you uh, and the rest of the Akron women's basketball team back on campus. 
Uh, of course, uh, if you have any final thoughts or words, uh, this is your time, Coach. Thanks, Chad. I have to give a shout out. So um, I became an aunt uh, yesterday. So um, to, my, to my brother, Chris, and his wife, Jill, um, to little Grayson Demick, um, who was born um, April 14th, and so late, late on April 14th, but um, I'm officially an aunt for the first time, so I can't wait to send him some Zips gear. I know we will have a, a new Zips fan uh, in the house, you know, this season, um, so we're pretty excited about that, adding to our family. So it was not just signing day, but it was, we were adding to, um, to our family as well in, in other ways. Coach, again, uh, definitely want to give a shout out to the, all the uh, first responders and people on the front lines as well. Uh, but thank you again for joining me and uh, stay safe, stay home, and uh, you know, win a couple gold medals in yeah. the Jackson Olympics. Okay, will do. All right, thanks, everybody. Stay safe, stay home. For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker. Have a great rest of your week, and as always, go Zips.